the Attorney General appears to be waging a media campaign on behalf of President Trump, the very uh, subject of the investigation at the heart of the Mueller report. Rather than letting the facts of the report speak for themselves, the Attorney General has taken unprecedented steps to spin Mueller's nearly two-year investigation. One, he summarized the report and cherry-picked findings in his March 24th letter to Congress. Two, he withheld summaries written by the special counsel that were intended for public consumption. Three, he has briefed the White House on the report before providing Congress a copy, which has helped them prepare a rebuttal response for the President. And now, the evening before the report's scheduled release, the Department of Justice has informed the committee that it will receive a copy between 11 a.m. and noon, well after the Attorney General's 9.30 a.m. press conference. This was wrong. It is contrary to the Attorney General's own words to the committee. Quote, I do not believe it would be in the public's interest for me to attempt to summarize the full report or to release it in serial or piecemeal fashion. Close quote. It now appears the Attorney General intends to once again put his own spin on the investigative work completed by the Special Counsel and his team. The fact that the Attorney General is not releasing even the redacted report to Congress until after his press conference will again result in the report being presented through his own words rather than through the words of Special Counsel Mueller. The central concern here is that the Attorney General Barr is not allowing the facts of the Mueller report to speak for themselves, but is trying to bake in the narrative about the report to the benefit of the White House. And of course, he's doing this just before the holiday weekend, so it's extraordinarily difficult for anybody to react. This is wrong. It is not the proper role of the Attorney General. I should add one other thing. The Department of Justice, in a court filing in the Roger Stone case, today said that some members of Congress may get access to some of the redacted information only for use in secret. The Judiciary Committee has no knowledge of this, and this should not be read as any agreement or knowledge or, um, um, agr or, ac or, or assent on our part. Thank you very much. Oh, we'll, we'll take a couple of questions. Take a couple of questions. Let's go.